Morning, Sunburst. What? Oh, hi. <laughs> you know, no matter how many times I read it, Winnem's Guide to Magical Arcana never gets boring. If you say so. I've got another letter for you from Sire's Hollow. Mm hmm. Sure thing. Experiencing the cerebration transmogrification effect described in chapter 17. Oh, my cutie mark is glowing. My cutie mark is glowing! I know what this means! Why am I yelling? Faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Princess Twilight, what an honor this is. I mean, it is, right? I'm called for a friendship mission? You sure are, and it must be a special one. No pony outside of Ponyville has ever been called before. If you need some pointers, let me know. I've been on my fair share of missions. You've been on one, Spike. And that's my fair share. Starlight! You mean we've both been called? This is great! Yeah, great. Aren't you excited? You and me, on a mission, together! <sighs> I'm sorry, are, are you not excited to go on a mission with me? No. Uh, no, I mean, yes. <laughs> totally excited about us going together, just not so excited about where. Sire's Hollow? Yep, home. Oh, great. You know... I can go if you two don't want to. I am kind of an expert. <sighs> it's not that I don't want to go home. It's just that whenever I do, my dad treats me like a filly. Like nothing has changed since I was a foal. Huh. I know, I'm a horrible daughter. No, no, my mom actually does kind of the same thing. Really? I don't even have to go home. She sends me letters constantly asking about my plans for the future. You're a grown up pony, Sunburst. You need a plan. Uh, I haven't been home in a while either. Hmm. We'll just have to explain to our parents that we're on an important friendship mission so they can't bother us. Do you think that will work? Nope. <sighs> the great thing about home is it always stays just how you let oh! Where did that come from? Welcome to Cyrus Hollow. Essence? Essence of what? You tell me. What is it? Uh, chocolate? 
maybe? Not chocolate, maybe. Chocolate, definitely! And all of the benefits with none of the drawbacks. Didn't this used to be a fruit stand? I don't know what it used to be. The Sire's Hollow Development Committee determined what it is. The Sire's Hollow Development what? Where do ponies buy fruit? You can get a fruit smoothie two doors down. All the shops are different. Everything's changed. Not everything. That's the same as it ever was. Sorry, our bookstore has been declared a site of historical significance by the Sire's Hollow Preservation Society. You'll have to experience the books from here. That's why windows are see-through. What? Preservation Society? What is happening around here? I'll explain it to you, Sugar Plum. <laughs> You are just as cutesy-wootsy as ever. Dad, quit it. What is going on? Oh, just a father wanting to preserve our town's rich history for his little pumpkin wumpkin <laughs> Dad, you promise no pumpkin wumpkins in public. <laughs> Sorry, chipmunk cheeks. Uh, don't. You're preserving the whole town? That's crazy. That's exactly what I told him. I said, Firelight, you're crazy. Mom? Our village needs the same thing you do, Sunburst. A clear plan for the future. That's why I started the Sire's Hollow Development Committee. And I've got plans for this little town. Big plans. Listen here, Stellar Flare. I'm not gonna let you turn our historical heritage into lost Pegasus. And I I'm not going to let you turn it into a museum! Wait, are you two fighting over this? Like having a friendship problem? Oh, there's no problem. Because there is no friendship. Well, the good news is we know why we're here. Maybe we should have sent Spike after all. <sighs> Sunburst and I were called here to do a job, and it looks like you two are it. You mean, your success depends on us? Uh... And you have to hang out with us the whole time you're here? Well, I'll hear what you have to say, but every plan I've made for this town is perfectly reasonable. Good luck convincing me my preservation efforts don't make sense. <sighs> Welcome to Cyrus Hall. So we can't hold the books? <laughs> no. Can you hold the books? No. So no pony can read the books? <laughs> Isn't she adorable? <laughs> Welcome to Cyrus Hollow. You can call them smells, but I call them essence. Fruity. Oh, too bad there's nowhere to get actual fruit. In the future, all ponies will drink their fruit. <laughs> One hundred percent ancient pony grains, just like the town founders ate. Hope you like crust. <laughs> Okay, it's annoying. I get it. Maybe my preservation efforts were a little over the top. Oh, oh no. 
And I might have been trying to turn the town into a shopping mall. Well, whatever direction the town takes from now on, how about we work together on it? Deal. Sunburst, you should move closer to Ponyville. After this success, I'm sure the Princess of Friendship will want to send you on more missions. That's not really how it works. Oh, look at the time! We should get going now that we've solved the friendship problem, right, Starlight? Yeah, the thing is, I don't think we did solve it. When we solve a friendship problem, our cutie marks are supposed to glow. Aw, oh, don't be disappointed, Puddin'. Your papa will work this out for you. <sighs> My papa wasn't called by the map in Twilight's castle. I was. How are you going to explain this to the princess? What's your plan if she fires you from friendship quests? Uh, Mom, if she doesn't... It, it's not... Use your words, Sunburst. I guess you two weren't the problem we were sent to solve after all. So now you don't even know why you're here? Uh, we have to figure this out before we run out of time. <sighs> Mom, there isn't a time limit. So you're here for an extra long visit? <laughs> you can stay in your old room, Punky Wonk. It's just like you left it. We need to find this friendship problem now. Now, I know you have your little job to do, but Stella and I know the town a lot better than you two. That's right. Neither of you have been home in ages. You're going to need our help to succeed. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> I already have some ideas. Me too. I think I liked it better when they were fighting. Okay. Now that I've explained how Cyrus Hollow was founded, we can start to explore all the possible friendship problems that might have developed over time. I appreciate the history lesson, Dad, but I need to find the problem now, in the present. Oh, now, Hun Bun, how are you gonna do that without all the backstory, huh? Oh, of course, I know how hard it is for you to sit still and focus, so... Would it help you pay attention to hold on to your blankie? Now, you've had a little setback, but don't worry. I know exactly what you need to do. Make a plan? Already got one! Step one, interview the suspects. Step two, use your talents to solve the issue. Step three, get the Princess of Friendship to send you on more missions. Mom, it does not work like that. Uh-huh. <clears throat> oh, thank goodness you are here. These two ponies refuse to use my essences. Maybe because we don't like to cover our natural scent. <clears throat> and she refuses to buy our books. Surely this, this is, is a, a friendship, friendship problem. It needs to be a real friendship problem. You can't just make one up. <clears throat> This is what happens when we don't rehearse! Ugh. Starlight? Sweetie? I found a really old town bylaw that no pony agrees on. Uh, apparently, we're not supposed to prance or canter after dinner time. Could that be the problem? Silly Philly? Phew. What are you doing? <sighs> from my mother. She started making up friendship problems for me to solve. <laughs> my dad won't even let me talk to any pony in case they're strangers. I'm a grown mare. <sighs> You're never going to find the friendship problem with them around, let alone solve it. Maybe you two should start looking for it on your own. So we wanted to talk to all of you, you know, in private. Just to see if there were issues any of you had with your friends. Got it. Just one 
question. Why are we whispering? They're avoiding their parents. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. of course. No, not avoiding, just taking a break. Yeah, t we needed to focus, but we're definitely not avoiding them. So you're whispering with all of us in the darkest corner of the shop where no pony can possibly see because you're not avoiding them? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they definitely can't hear us in here, right? No way! This is the antiquities section. No pony ever comes back here. There you are! But what are you doing in here? <gasps> is the friendship problem in my favorite section of the bookstore? And then, I thought the best way to look for a friendship problem in the present... Dad! ...was to look back in our town history even farther. Ugh! Sunburst! <laughs> Finally! Now, I know you don't want me to make up a problem, but what if I start one? That's not how this... I mean, no pony ever became a success by following all the rules, right? How are things on your end? Couldn't be better. New leads and such. Guys, we really are providing excellent assistance, aren't we? Guys! I dare say our children should be grateful for our help. Guys! We don't want, want your help! I'm sorry, you don't want our help? <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. What reason could you possibly have for that? Because you're driving us crazy! Oh, really? And just how am I driving you crazy? By always coming up with plans! I don't need a plan! I mean, maybe I do, but it'll be mine, not yours! Well, I'm sorry for trying to help. <laughs> You're not any better. I'm not a filly. I'm a grown pony with a job to do, and I'll do it on my own. Well, I'll let you get to it then. Great. Now we have to smooth things over with our parents on top of finding and solving a friendship problem. It's almost like our relationship with our parents is the friendship problem. You don't think that's it, do you? <clears throat> That's what all of us think. Oh. Why couldn't we have been sent to stop a war or something? Dad? Hello, Ms. Glimmer. How is your friendship problem search going? I only ask as an interested observer, since I know you are an adult who's capable of doing things without help from any pony else. Actually, I think Sunburst and I figured out what it is. So, Stellar and I weren't really helpful after all. Well, we haven't actually solved it. And I don't think we can. Not without you. <laughs> Pungent! Oh, did you come by to be driven crazy by more of your mother's plans? No, I came to apologize. Well, it's going to take more than an apology to make up for telling me you don't want my help finding your friendship problem. Oh, I'm not sorry for that. Starlight and I already figured out what the problem is. This is a terrible apology. Well, if you come with me and help fix it, I'll give you a better one. Usually, Twilight or one of our other friends gets called to a place with a friendship problem to fix. But Starlight and I realized we came here to fix a friendship problem we already had. I'm sorry I've been avoiding coming home, Dad, but you can't keep treating me like a foal. I'm sorry, Sugar Bun. <sighs> I just know how hard things were for you when you left home. I guess I wanted you to feel safe, like when you were young. Dad, I know I've made some mistakes, and I'll probably make a bunch more, but I learned from them. I think that's what growing up is. 
I'm sorry I never told you how much your plans bothered me, and I know you just want me to succeed, but I need to do that on my own. I remember how lost you were when you flunked out of magic school. I thought, as long as you had a plan, you'd never feel that way again. You don't have to worry, Mom. I need to find my own way. I definitely don't feel lost anymore. <laughs> the glowing cutie mark is such a symbol of accomplishment. I don't suppose there's a way for you to get it to glow all the time. <laughs> Pretty sure it doesn't work that way. Not unless we solve the friendship problem every few seconds, and I kind of hope this one will be it for a while. You know, it seems to me your map is saying we're not just your parents. <laughs> We're your friends, too. I guess so. So, if I promise to treat you less like a little filly and more like a friend, will you visit more? Absolutely. Mm. And if you start to drive me crazy again, I'll tell you instead of never coming home. That's lovely of you to say, dear. But you know, I can always visit you. Stellar, you're a genius! <laughs> How do you feel about a road trip? I might have a few plans for that. <laughs> <laughs>